quasi relationship. And it's then... not a quasi relationship. She is getting everything she needs from you, and you're getting. F it's not a quasi relationship. It's just you getting. F you're waiting for something that's never coming, and she's kind of got you on the back burner while she's looking for something that is she's going to transition over. So what's going to happen is the way that this ends is with her finding somebody that 100% fully satisfies and fulfills her, and then you're going to get dumped at the wayside, and then you're going to be left with absolutely nothing. Who's that in the background? What's going on? My sister. <laughs> 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 what, is what, what is wrong with you? I don't know how you how do you get over that? It's difficult sometimes. Well, it's a fing small picture, I can't tell. Yeah, can you send a send a It's the hair. I'm too uh, handsome, sexy and successful and rich. And whenever I go to a place like a club or something, um, all the women are so after me that I end up drowning in pussy. It's become like a safety hazard. Any advice? Um, if you need like uh, to get better perspective on your life, I would say try making a Tinder account and don't tell anybody your XQC, and then you can see how much of a virgin loser f you would be. Okay. We should do a relationship advice show. First, they get advice from you, which is useless and be discarded, and then they get advice from me, mm -hmm. and it's like a call-in show. People call in with their relationship problems. And then we give our ideas, and I think it would be it would be a hit. It would be a hit. People would come. Yeah, would do be it like the right now. Mecca. Drag them in. Let's All go. Right. We're doing the first the first installment. The beta of test. Uh, the double D relationship show. Come on in if you're having lady problems or boy problems. Either way, we can relate. Uh, so you're coming to Dan to for the, the meme advice, and then I'm gonna tell you what really needs to happen. Okay. So you're gonna get the like poly bullshit advice from him, and then you'll get if you actually want to make, you'll get to me. They don't call me. <laughs> what? Say it. Uh, the lady whisperer from. <laughs> what nothing. the f is wrong with you? <laughs> I am <laughs> a master relationship advice man. Be prepared to get whispered. Are you looking for me? I'm looking for someone. Where can you be? Someone. Welcome to the D&D &D Relationship Hot Seat Swaru. What can we do for you this fine, sexy evening? Oh, these <laughs> are so hard to make. Never mind. Christ. Hello. Not using your microphone is also nice a fucking job. one month ban. Are you serious, Swaru? <laughs> this is like the crowning moment of this guy's life. This is the highlight, and he's just like completely blowing through it. How sad. Swaru, you're a disappointment. Well, on to the next one. We'll do K Cappuccino. Why not? Hello, Mr. Cappuccino. Hello. Welcome. All right. I'm Why K uh, Cappuccino? He's trying to us. If he trolls, he gets banned. I am not fucking around. I will ban you. Wait, Good luck you getting your rolls back. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, what? all right. I, I've been single my whole life. I'm 21 years old almost. Mm -hmm. Fix me. Go. Well, you have to give more information. What information do you need? Yeah, what is it? What everything. Do need, hey, What's don't... everything? Everything about your life. Um, do all you right, do anything an besides e hang? I... Yeah, the whole all thing. Right, all right, yeah, yeah, all right. I'm a college student, econ major. I live um, in an apartment with three other roommates who I never talked to. I have a cat. Um, I'm in my third year of college. I'm a 4.0 student. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't have a job, but that's because I'm going to school. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. I, I play video games. I like watching movies. Mm -hmm. I work out a bunch. Okay, that's, so... This is my personality. Lycan, you remain fucking silent, okay? <laughs> Cappuccino, would you... Yes. How would you rate yourself on a 1 to 10 sexiness scale? Uh, like, uh, between a four and a six, depending yeah. on the day, probably. But, but you're I working also... out, though. Wait, yeah. he's actually so wrong. You're like a seven or an eight. You have so little self-esteem. That's your main problem. You're actually fucking retarded. That's pro- that's part You're an- you're a fem I- I- I don't know. Wait, I mean, post a picture of yourself in chat right now, and then you're getting banned from this Discord. Okay, what- how are you gonna come in here and just lie right away? Lie about what? That's what I think! You- you Cap think you're a four. Sorry, sorry you know what? I no. think you're a four. Yeah. 
Four, four, four is exaggerating. I think. Post uh, it. Uh, make it. Po po post four? the last pick of him in chat. The shirtless I'll, I'll, one. I'll post. I'll post my most recent picture. Hold on. I swear. Oh, you know, this is the last time this has happened. I hate it when people come in here and say, "Guys, I'm so ugly." Yeah. And then that's, that's fucking the internet. No, 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 I, come I gotta go downstairs to get my food. I'll be right back. Hold on one second. Stick okay. my head. Just listen. No, you're. I'll be right back. One second. You're... Cappuccino, do you yeah. try with women? Do you try to, like, do you find girls? Do you have crushes? Do you make moves? What do you mean by try with, like, do I talk to them? Like, do you make a, a, an effort to, like, actually engage in something beyond friendship with women? Um, sort of. Hold on, let me get the picture and then I You're can... You're genius, order. dude! Help. Where did Dad go? I have separation Damn, anxiety. Damn, when someone comes in, they're as old as he is, and you and they say that, you gotta ask them, like, if they're actually like trying or if they're just focused on their life at the moment beyond that. And to, to wait, be wait, fair, for, I, for I who, think... though? Like in... For him. Like, if he no, comes in... No, for who asked for you to be ah. on the Double D <laughs> dating <laughs> show? Does your name start with a fucking D? It does not. Yes. It does not. You are fucking everything up right now, Lycan. I'm trying to, act, you know what? Here's the thing. You know what fucking bothers me and why I can't stand this fucking place? It's because when come, someone comes in and you're like, I'm going to offer you real advice and Shut then it goes the down the up, meme path, right? it bothers me. Meme. Like if homeboy's actually here and he's like, dog, I fucking want women, but I am just not getting them. I want you to give like real fucking in-depth analysis of the situation. Well, thanks, Lycan. I appreciate that. You'll have noted that I haven't said anything yet except asking a few questions. But I appreciate you thinking that I'm going to send this guy to go fucking paint his face to look like Nyan Cat and go out there and sing all day. <laughs> I mean, to be fair. All right. So, King. so um, for for my looks, I think I think four four is an exaggeration. I think right, five, have you posted five it yet? at the lowest. Yes, I just got the picture. Five five at the lowest at my worst, and then in these pictures where I have a chest and ab pump. You're fine. And... What what? I mean, you're no, you're no, you're no I'm slumlord. No, I'm no I know. But you're you no could slumlord. absolutely pull some fucking tail. Dude. Sure. You have better abs than I do. Holy shit. I got, I have to, the top two and then no more abs after that. But you got that V thing and, and ladies like that V thing. Sure, yeah. I'm trying to wait until Steve gets here. You look fine, okay? I think we can I, I, get uh, Yeah, yeah, I, I, The problem I, I, is I you need to think... stop being... Okay, first off, you need to get rid of your cat, okay? No, I'm sorry to tell you. you. What do you, you have to? About? As a cat fan myself, I hate to say this, but the cat's got to go, okay? You got to go. Not a, it's you. not a good look for a single man living with other guys to have a cat. <laughs> it's not a good look, okay? <laughs> no one's going to tell you. You know what? I don't care. Okay. All right. So first step one, you got to get rid of the cat. Step two, right. you got to start. You have to act like a Chad if you want to be a Chad. Right now, you're acting like a beta uh, bitch coming in here uh, yeah. saying this. You have to believe uh, that you're a Chad. Okay? You have to believe it. You're cool. Can you believe it? Probably uh, not, but uh, tell me how I can get to that. Alcohol. Uh, Okay. What else? Uh, say and coke. Uh, Both of those things. Hundred uh, percent. I, I don't have access to coke, and I have limited access to alcohol until I turn twenty-one. So, okay. Keep going. Okay. Oh, you know what? One thing I already know does help is MDMA. When I took that, I was super confident. Okay. Good. Good. Um, confidence. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe you should listen to some Jordan Peterson um, <laughs> stuff or something. But you know, clean your room. My clean room's your... clean as fuck. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's step one. Okay, get your. Shit I'm together. a vet in in terms of general like like being a uh, an adult. I'm more put together than ninety nine percent of people in college. So what the fuck is your problem then? I don't know. I just I. Do you go on Tinder? Yes. Okay. I get, what like, happens? What happens when you're on Tinder? Um, when you're swiping? Because you're probably sure. getting a lot of swipes back at you, aren't you? I'm not. I'm not. I get like five. I I have like the fucking gold thing because it was on sale. Welcome like, to being it, a man. And I get like maybe five a week. Five. Welcome okay. to being a man. First thing that you have to realize is that women in general are shallow. Okay. Sure. So you have to you have to do what is your Tinder photo? Okay. We need to make you look rich. Okay. That, that, I think that's the one thing is that I've never like been super social, so I don't have many pictures, and uh -huh. I don't know how to take good pictures. Your 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 photo it has to be Chad McChad face. Yeah. Okay. I'm talking about you with your shirt off, sitting on a Lamborghini, you know, just like that. Okay. 
Okay. I don't know. I don't have a Lamborghini, and I don't have friends. That's to take fine. You just got to find so. a Lamborghini. Make sure the guy's in the coffee shop, and have someone really quick take the photo of you. Okay. <laughs> And then, and then when he comes out and yells at you, you'll be like, well, what do you want to do? You want to fight? And then he'll go away because he's probably going to be afraid of you. So, but good, good photos go a long way. Cause I listen, know, I know they do. And I just don't have them. Yeah. See, that's a big problem because if you don't get the photo to start, you're never even getting your foot in the door, your foot being your penis and the door being the, well, the, the, you understand the, where we're yeah. talking about there. But anyways, you're not going to even get to that point to even have that first meeting here. You have to, you know. You got to start somewhere, but you're not even getting that start. So step mm-hmm. one, your profile probably needs work. You got everything. So once you start getting a lot of these, uh, you know, a lot of these meetings, the confidence is going to grow with you. Mm-hmm. Okay. The confidence is going to grow. Um, but you got to, you got to get there. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I would, I would look at taking some good photos. Do you have a good camera? Do you I, have a new, new iPhone maybe? I have a new Pixel. Okay. There you go. Ooh, there a, you go. A good there you go. Find, find some stuff that, you know, if you have a cat, maybe, you know, throw one in there of you with a cat mm-hmm. looking like all cozy, like this is someone they could maybe settle down with. And then you of a bad boy, maybe you on top of a motorcycle, you know, with sunglasses, you know, littering. <laughs> oh, boy, <laughs> they're going to go fucking nuts for that. OK, I'm telling you, they're going to be like they're they're drawn to the bad boys sometimes. OK, but they want a bad boy who can also pay the bills. OK, so, yeah. Also, listen, you need to get an iPhone because they don't like it when you have a green bubble. That is bad. Jesus, bad that's the advice that Dan is giving. Get an iPhone. Oh, well, I mean, we're, we're through it. Hey, listen, you don't need to hear. We He wasn't here, so. <laughs> no, I want to know what Destiny has to say. You're sorry, okay. Steven. I want to know what Steven has to say. We met in real life, so we're on first name basis now. I'm Patrick, not Cappuccino. I don't know how I don't know general advice like I don't talk to any like here's like how to improve my life like I don't no, 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 no. I, it's not that it's that I, I well I mean it depends okay fuck you Steven, so he, he's a decent looking dude and he goes on tinder he has interest in women he just hasn't had any success or progress mm-hmm. how long have you been on tinder um a f- I don't know like a few months I, I had it like before but I wasn't ever using it how many dates have you been on um, I've been on one and I get like five likes a week. I- I've been talking to two other girls recently, but one of them lives like further away than most and she's busy and the other one, I'm pretty sure she's just super dry and I don't give a fuck. Mm. Okay, well, keep trying. <laughs> do you do any activities or hobbies with people involved? No. I work out by myself, and then I play video games by myself, and then I go to school. And that's literally all I do 24-7 outside of eating and making food. Well, you better ham up that Tinder man. Make a Bumble account, too. Good luck. I need help getting over a relationship. My girlfriend broke up with me all last right. week. We had been going out for three years. We were each so, other's first real love. I saw Bumble this is a really like good account. Woman, by Take the way. better my Tinder pictures hard and when I look at be a Chad? Is that, is that do you have any friends Don't that are girls? Don't make shirtless fucking pictures stop do you have any friends that are girls yes my oh, i have one friend and she's a girl you have one friend you have so have many problems friend. okay um yeah i know you should uh, ask her to help you make a good profile usually girls she know doesn't use them. tinder she has no fucking idea what she would do. <laughs> okay well there's a subreddit for improving your tinder profile you all right this it. is yeah. too long this has gone on too long all right i think you've gotten some excellent advice on this call especially on the first half take it to heart okay live the part Fake it till you make it. It's not just a meme thing. That works in real life. Good luck to you, Cappuccino. All right. Don't waste this advice. Goodbye. Okay. All right, on to the next one. Hello, Wolfgand Shariq. Oh, boy. Is it okay? That's not how you say my name, but that's all right. Is Let this, me uh, the stream very quick. Is this advice for you, or is this don't advice bring, for don't your... Don't bring, don't. No, don't even think about it. If, it, if I your already mom t- needs some advice, I'm happy to help. I already told you. I told her how you fucking feel. Uh, she thought it was hilarious. My dad's not a fan. I already informed you of this. So no advice on my parents' part. Thank you okay. very much. Uh, but no, yeah. I'm just having uh, some trouble with uh, with Tinder messages, I guess. I make sure that at the end of my messages, I ask a nice question. Mm-hmm. I read the bios. And I make sure that the question relates to the bio. I don't make it too long. I have uh, 52 matches in my whole time of being on Tinder, which isn't a crazy amount. It's been like two years. Not... I think twice have I ever gotten a message back. So it must be something I'm typing like wrong or I'm not sure. So here we go. I'm trying out the the great wisdom. This this is going to be hard to ask. Oh, really? Okay. Go ahead. Is there, how would you rate yourself on the attractiveness scale? Oh, dude. Okay. Uh, 
Easy seven. Easy seven. seven. A seven, absolutely. Is this, is this like the Dunning Kruger thing where the hotter you are, the lower you give yourself, and the fucking uglier okay, you are, the higher you go? Maybe, okay, maybe a six. Do you need like pictures for proof? Because you know what? That might talk better than the confidence. More um, so than anything, maybe better if I give you pictures. I don't think it matters that much, no, to be honest. No, as that, long that's as you. Fine. Yeah. Um, okay, so you, how how is it possible? that you've sent that many messages and have that few back. I would have to see some messages. I, yeah, see, I do, wait, yeah, hold on. I, I do, I send a lot of messages as well. There's a lot of girls that go, so like, it, it happens. Like, And I don't know if the shitty part is just, cause it sounds like I'm hearing a lot of like, hey man, that's just the nature of online dating. Cause there was a guy that hopped in a, a minute. I wish that like just so. one time you could see things from the girl side, you would have a better understanding of what you're up against. Like I knew a reasonably attractive woman in LA that, or I guess I can just say Bose. Um, when she made a Tinder account, I want to say she was showing me. I think she had over a thousand matches on the first day, unironically, and like what over heck? over like a hundred super likes. Like it was unreal. Jesus Christ! Yeah, like unbelievable. And, and so like, and now you might not be in a city quite as big, but like the competition is going to be stacked like that. So like, you know, you shoot your shot, you make your message, make it provocative if you want, not like in a fucked up way, but like something to get some attention, and then you just shoot your shot and you just move on. You can't get like too invested in like any individual person because- Gotcha, don't let it fuck up the mental. Don't you you just... gotta fucking stand out. Like, you know, you gotta like- Oh, I, I stand it. out. No, you gotta really stand out. I don't think Dude, I got, I got the long curly hair. I got- No, no I'm I, talking I, about your message has to stand out as oh, well. Oh, message. Okay, what do you, okay. Like- Give me, give me some openers. Give me some- <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me open up the Tinder here. Yeah, was I supposed to have that ready already? Also, this is yeah. gonna sound really shitty, but it honest to God feels like half the girls on Tinder don't even know what the fuck they put in their bio, because there are times where I, I used to open asking questions related to the bio, and a lot of them had just had no fucking idea. I don't keep up with this stuff a lot, but it sounds like a lot of them are interested in golfing. I don't know anything about golfing, uh, so I'm assuming maybe I'm fucking up on that part. Uh, hold on. <laughs> open up the Tinder very quick. The best question, ask them their favorite midnight snack. I used to ask them midnight what's your favorite- snack? Yeah, I used to ask your favorite breakfast food. Okay. But then like half of them would think I was trying to ask like, to make a sexual joke about what I'd make them the morning after. So I switched it to midnight snack and that's honestly like 50-50 responses. <laughs> okay, I'm reading some of these. <laughs> no, I maybe I'll admit, some of these might be a bit cheesy, but- Okay, hold on. Like... Also, remember this, every opener, pickup, whatever on online yeah. show is gonna be fucking cheesy and cringe or whatever. People that oh, act okay. like it's not are like, just they're delusional. They're pretending that they're fucking, uh, like in some romance movie where they're always super ultra smooth all the time. Like all of it looks cheesy and corny as fuck. Like that's just- Yeah, so this girl says, hey, I love alt metal. Uh, wait, wait, wait. She messaged you first? No, this oh, is her okay. bio. I'm reading her bio. It oh, says, yeah. alt rock, metal, tattoos, and tea. I don't know anything about any fucking metal. I don't know anything about tattoos or tea. So I hit her. All right, what's your personal favorite when it comes to bands? If you're lucky enough, uh -huh. maybe we'll share an interest. Oh, uh, and then nothing. God, I do. All right, don't do that. Okay. I can already <laughs> tell you that. Okay, cool, cool. Okay. Right, wait, so wait, wait, wait. Did she, wait, hold on, wait, wait, hold on. Okay, did oh, she respond? Jesus to Christ, I can smell the desperation. <laughs> it's not desperation, okay? <laughs> Please, just oh, Chill, man. Dan. If they were lucky, maybe they would have shared no an interest. <laughs> <laughs> You've been out of the dating market for too long, okay? When you were around, there wasn't online dating. You, oh, I want to hear from, from, from the guy First off, there was online dating. We had Hot or Not, okay? It was oh, fine. God, Even that was... Even back then, I would know not okay. to send that fucking message. Jesus Christ. What's wrong with the message? Okay, what that's part the of the message is wrong? Okay, okay, just the, the idea of, like, maybe if you're lucky with your interest, you're coming at that. That's a big power play. That's some shit that I would say to somebody that I know is, like, ultra desperate for my attention. That's not some shit I would say. Oh, oh, gotcha. Because okay, it so, it, yeah. so if you're lucky, is where I went wrong. Okay? Maybe, yeah. It's not, that's like, like a, that's like a Elliot Rogers. That's a power like. play. Are you move. serious, Elliot fucking Rogers? That's how you sound when you send a message like with that. the message like that. Okay, got it. Uh, yes. I'm trying to see if there's any other ones that aren't fucking foul. I, you know what? Maybe introspection is the problem because now that I'm reading them, they don't look so good. <laughs> so well, maybe okay, okay, wait. Is... Let's go to the let's go to the next one. The next one. Okay, this girl had nothing for her bio. <laughs> <laughs> tell me a joke. No, that was her. Tell me a joke. Educate me. Take me on a date. Smiley face. Okay. I said, okay, so if I tell you the best knock-knock joke in the world before we went on a date to the Museum of Rock History, would that check all the boxes in your bio? And okay. then she never fucking said anything. <laughs> well, that, you know, that was an okay. That's an okay. You're engaging. It was cute. With it was cute, right? That was yeah. okay. That was okay. That was okay. All right. Yeah, there's a couple like those. And maybe I want to know if maybe it's better just to either fortify the mental 
or just maybe try and go outside. The only problem is that I'm in Canada in lockdowns, so that might be an issue with going outside today. It sounds like the issue might be that um, you got to keep shooting your shot, which you're doing. Gotcha. Um, it's just a numbers game. You got to keep going. You just got to keep going. You'll find. Wow, that. that's 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 you know that's hard to hear. But that's okay. I guess it's yeah, a numbers yeah. game. Listen, in your case, get the fucking like Tinder quadruple platinum and just fucking swipe right on. Everything. That is such a ridiculous amount of money, dude. That is fucking oh, crazy. Sounds like isn't you it like. It. <laughs> Fuck yeah. you, Dan. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say, man. Like, you're, wait, me okay. Dan's not wrong, but like for a more <laughs> sensitive approach to it, oh, the reality it. is everyone's going to be a lot more um, picky on these online dating apps. Mm -hmm. So yeah, gotcha. you might have to little, invest a little bit to get your name in front of a lot more people because Destiny's mm -hmm. right. Like women are getting fucking matches galore. They're getting a ton of those super chats or super likes gotcha. or whatever they're called. No, I mean. At the end of the day, right? Mm -hmm. your, your fucking shitty message about going to Applebee's with a joke has to compare with fucking Chad Thundercock mm -hmm. saying like, "Hey, let's meet up." Like, so your profile needs to be doing some heavy lifting here. When your message like, I, think, have to do I, think, I think my profile is—it's not bad. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it ain't—it ain't bad. Uh, you know what? Maybe I need some improvement tips for next time. I don't want to hold you guys up too long. Good. The line's good, looking crazy. Good photos. Okay. All right. Well, good luck I, to you. I, Hit yeah, the gym, brother. Don't oh, take I, self shirtless selfies. Don't do that. But take yeah, I'm an artist, like, and I don't need the gym. Okay? They okay. see me and they're like, <laughs> they're like, this guy's a pro. Okay. Right. Adios, amigo. Adios, amigo. All right. How's the next one? Senor Kenneth, welcome to the hot seat of love. Hello, host. What can we do for you this evening? Okay, so I'm a little nervous. It's my first time being on the stream. That's okay. We'll make it gentle. I won't. Thank you. Appreciate that. So I'm a 27 year old man. Um, I have a kid that's five years old, and I recently got out of a long term relationship. And so the girl that I got out of a long term relationship with in a couple rocky weeks and then months, and then we decided we'd break up. So after we broke up, there was, there's like this weird time period where we're trying to figure out if we can still be friends or not. And so I guess my question is, do you think it's possible to remain friends with somebody like that? Wait, friends with the mother of your child or friends with somebody you started dating and then broke up with? Started dating and then broke up with. Who so broke up three with years in that why? relationship. She broke up, up, up with me because she wanted to experience, uh, I guess the, the best way to wrap it up is like experience life. So oh, wait, how old are you guys? You're 27? She was how old? I'm 27, so she's gonna be 24 soon. Four, 24, yep. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, because she started dating me when she was 21. Um, right. No, don't do it. You'll destroy your mind. You have to leave and cut her out of your life completely and forever. I think I'm literally destroying my mind, and I, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, you, well, what, what you're doing right now is you're stuck in the bottom of a fucking loop of heroin because every single time she messages you or you talk to her, there's like this little fucking, maybe things are going okay, maybe we can blah, blah, blah. That's always gonna be in the back of your head and you're gonna just self-destruct on this shit. This is Wait, just so like- Wait, this, so this, this isn't the baby's no. Uh, parent? No, okay. no, no, no. Then so- Three year relationship that happened after. This so is gonna the, be- The mother to my stuff. child, uh, we broke up five years ago-ish, four, somewhere around that range. There, there's and no that, reason to hold on here. You deserve better. Well, there's a reason. Want. The reason is that one, he probably genuinely likes her, and two, if it could happen, like reigniting that relationship for the future would be. No, it, exactly, exactly what you just said. So we had like a, a super great relationship. She mm -hmm. fulfilled me in ways that I needed to be filled. I supported her emotionally. Uh, everything that you can you can look for in like a long term relationship. So this this like weird stage of like in between. Uh, she calls it a uh, situationship now because we we've continued talking throughout the whole thing um, And we've not been dating for three months now. So it's like do I do I wait around do do I wait around and uh, is, she, is she seeing other people? Yes uh, So she wants to so she is she's bisexual and she never had experience with women before so That was one of the compounding factors uh, That led to us breaking up How do you feel that you're going to be able to um, save this relationship, and how much time are you willing to give trying to save it? Uh, I don't feel like there's anything I can do from my perspective to save this relationship. It's more of things that she needs to do and experience. Um, so really, the, the true question is, how long am I willing to wait? The problem um, is that you're gambling. 
Yes. Okay. The worst part about this was not you guys breaking up, okay? The worst part about this is not you being friends with her and getting strung along. The worst part about this is every single time she starts talking to somebody new, and then the next worst part about it will be when she starts dating somebody else. And when it gets to that point, you're still not gonna be able to not be friends with her. Cause you're gonna go from waiting for her to wanna date you to waiting for her to break up with her current partner to wanna date you and it's just gonna destroy yourself. And the worst part about all of this is that while you have so much invested in her, you're not making yourself emotionally or physically available to any other person. So you are guaranteeing that you will be locked in the bottom of this pit for the rest of your life and you're just fucked. Like, like there's no other easy way to say that. So. So you would say that in in the situation I am, with the context I've given you, there's probably nothing. I, I mean, there's nothing I can do. I They're think that your best that case scenario wants. is yeah. the po if you're ultra mature and introspective, you can be friends with her once you are emotionally over her. But in realistically, um, you can be friends with her once you've found somebody else to date because that's gonna be the easiest time for you to be moved on because now you've got somebody else that you can put that same emotional investment in. And then once you're dating somebody else, assuming you actually like them, it might be possible for you to go back to them and be like, oh, hey, like I'm chill with you, like we're cool, we can go back to like a friendship we had because you don't feel like there's this gaping hole in your life where you're missing and you're trying to fill it with her, right? Now you've got somebody else that you're dating or whatever. So that's like the only possible chance, I think, for that to be somewhat not destroying your mind in the future. Okay, that's interesting. Um, to me, it feels like I should I should wait a little, wait a while longer and see what happens. Um, Here, but, if you can absolutely. ask around with friends, that waiting thing doesn't like if they. It sounds mean to say I don't mean to say this, but like if they wanted to date you, they would date you now. They wouldn't be like out exploring, right? Do you think that's a pretty common thing for? It's uh, common for people to say like you know. Age? It's common for people to like want to wait, and then for the other person to just find somebody different. I have never in my life. No, I'm just one person, so maybe other people have heard it. But I've never in my life heard somebody say like, "Oh yeah, like um, that person." You know, I'm just waiting for them because they want to explore a little bit, and then they're like, "Yeah," and then in six months they came back to me. That like never seems to be the case. Also, um, mm -hmm. you made one of the classic blunders, which I'm in the middle of making. Um, dating somebody less than 25, what they like and what they want in life is gonna change over time. There's no guarantee that a person you meet at 21 is gonna be the same at 25. So like, yeah. that, that's also just another nice. thing. Nice, so yeah. essentially I, I'm screwed then at this point. Uh, yeah. In terms of a relationship with her. But don't think of yourself as screwed now. Think of yourself as being like zero now, and if you keep going, you're gonna go negative. So you're not screwed yet, but you can screw yourself. You're already where you are. There's nothing to change that, unless you find a time machine, right? Just don't like further fuck yourself. Okay. Well, shit. Uh, yeah, I, I guess that, that pretty much sums up what I was looking for. Okay, Dan, what do you got for him? I mean, I surprisingly agree on the most part. I think, like, if you stay, you're gonna just regret it. The whole, the whole fucking thing. Like, I, I know you feel like there's a chance where you Wait, can. can maybe... I, can I cut in there real quick? Do it. So okay. I think, I think saying that, um, that I'm gonna regret it, it is not quite accurate. I'd say that like the, the times that we've spent after we've been broken up have been actually pretty good. Yeah. We, this we is don't... the bit. Hold on. That's a big problem. You know why? So is she like? So here's a question. Have you guys fucked after you've broken up? Uh, yeah, a couple times. Is she like an ultra sexually driven person? No, not really. Okay, so the problem That's is Whoa. she is getting every single thing that she wants from you that you could possibly offer her in a relationship and you're not getting what you need. And she's so gonna saying, hold on to that relationship because that works, she's in the perfect scenario. She's getting everything. Friend from you. And yeah, and she's getting everything she wants. She's getting all the emotional intimacy that she needs. I'm guessing you probably support her through anything. So if she wanted to call you late at night for a chat or something like that, you're probably able to chat with her. Um, if she does want sex every now and then, like you're probably able to get, like she's getting every single thing she could possibly want from you without any of the commitment and she's still free to explore and look for everything on her own time. So setting my feelings aside then in that case, would it be, man. Yeah, I, I think I already know the, the answer to the question that I'm asking. Uh, but would you ever see, would it ever be reasonable to just continue to kind of have this like weird quasi relationship? And it's then, not a quasi relationship. It's she is getting everything she needs from you and you're getting fucked. It's not a quasi relationship. It's just you getting fucked. You're waiting for something that's never coming and she's kind of got you on the back burner while she's looking for something that is she's gonna transition over. So what's gonna happen is the way that this ends is with her finding somebody that 100% fully satisfies and fulfills her and then you're gonna get dumped at the wayside and then you're gonna be left with absolutely nothing, thinking that it was going to get better and it's only gonna get worse for you and ultimately better for her. Okay, that's fair. Do you want the hopeless yeah. romantic side of this? Yeah, because honestly, that's 
I, I, uh, I was kind of hoping for some of that advice from you, Lycan, because it does so, seem like you're like that. Destiny's not wrong. Neither is Dan. Like, this is probably the way this is going to play out and everything, right? But the, rea the reality is, is that there's like an, a one in 10 chance that, you know, you guys go your separate ways. You get what you want from her. Look at it that way. Like you enjoy your time with her. You enjoy the time you spend together, whatever that connection. Um, as long as you have that mindset of what Destiny and Dan are talking about, the chances of you getting hurt are very small. Mm. But there is the chance that like, yeah, she spends the next year. But here's the problem. Hold on. This is the problem. Okay. There's only one correct answer he can give or he's lying to himself. Okay. In his mind, they don't have a friendship. He's dating her. That's that's what is existing in his mind. He still sees them as like a couple. And the reason why I know this is because if tomorrow she said like, hey, like I'm really excited. I'm going out to dinner. Like I met a guy and he's really cool. It would absolutely fucking destroy his mind. It would would be it like, destroy you or would it hurt you? It would. Here, go ahead. Okay, so if, if, she, if she said like she's going to go out and have dinner with another guy, then like our, like what, what we have would be different. Uh, I'm not saying that we're still in a relationship, but mm -hmm. like having sex with her would stop. Mm -hmm. um, late night phone calls would stop. That's not what he's saying. Thing. You would be emotionally fucked, just like anyone well, else. No, would be hold on, because he, it, he, he's not answering. He's weaseling away from it. Like you, I'm dude. Not, I'm not trying to weasel. Away from well, no, no, okay. he's not weaseling away. So this is the first part. So step one is going to be her saying she's going to, but then this next part is when she messages you and she has a conversation with you where she's like, we need to draw a few boundaries because I have to prioritize this other man in my life over you. Because that's going to be the second part of when it really starts to sink in that like, fuck, I don't have this person in the way that I thought I did. Yeah, that's completely fair. And, and that would hurt. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. That That's uh, to be expected that you would be hurt by that. The point is, is whether or not you realize that is likely to happen and whether or not you can actually handle that. If you can handle that, if you're aware of it, and you see it coming as the most likely outcome of the situation, then there's nothing wrong with you sticking around in the situation as it's, long as you it, have Your grounded. emotions don't work that way, though. You can't plan for that type of like heartbreak. You like, can't it's gonna plan hurt. for it, you, you can't can be ready for it. it. I, dude, I, I'll tell you personally, I've done this in my life. I'm very smart. I'm an incredibly smart person and I have a lot of experience and I put myself into those situations where I'm like, I know this is gonna fuck me. I know it's gonna end up fucked and I'll just deal with it when it happens. And it has still emotionally destroyed me. I, it, now maybe you're more sociopathic than I am and you can deal with that, but I couldn't. I, and I, I, even, I and there have been times where I even knew that I'm being so dumb in what I'm pursuing. I know it's stupid and I did it and it still was like, fuck, what, what the fuck was I thinking? It was so stupid, like every time. I don't think there, the thing is, is that like, if you were of the mindset to not take it so personally, when she would find somebody different then you wouldn't be talking to her right now anyway well i guess i guess i that's a good question off what steven's saying is like how intense are your feelings for this person i i, I love her and um okay i, so I don't that's a little I, more. I, I mean if you if you want to go to like one to ten scale i'd say like she's a nine she's a nine yeah. yeah okay then yeah i mean to what steven's saying the odds of you being able to really handle that in the long run steven's right um, my idea was that, like, you know, this is a person that you have a decently grounded idea of your feelings for her, her feelings for you, and you're young, et cetera. I, I think the, the, so throwing like the, the guy question in there is, is interesting because that would, that would mean that it was like over. Yeah. Like, it just wouldn't exactly. make sense to me. But, but hold but on. Listen to what you just said. That would mean that it's over, right? You don't think it's over right now. You it's think that there's still over. something there, right? Well, my my yeah, my romantic feelings towards her would be completely shut off. Yes, mm -hmm. that's true. the The question is, is okay. Let's say she goes out and, and dates females, and she does that for a year. She's like, "Hey, man, that wasn't that fun, um, and I still like you a lot, and we're still having all these conversations." Like, is it just a is it a break for her to try out? Yeah, but like, why would sexuality? she? Why would she come back to you if she's already okay not dating you now? Because she's trying to figure out her sexuality. That's that's in my mind what it is. I I don't think it works that way. Maybe, but okay. I think that um. Hold on, this motherfucker. What if she comes back with a guy instead of a girl? In, in a year, and she still wants to date me. No, no, no. Like the I'm sorry. If, unless I misunderstood, the situation mm -hmm. is that she's bisexual has not had an experience with a girl and that's one of her hangups right now right right well yeah so, in order to have like a fulfilling marriage or a fulfilling like long-term relationship you kind of have to figure out questions like that right you, absolutely yeah right. and so if if we're like not quote unquote on a break but if we're quote unquote not dating right now 
um, then what? You know what I mean? Why not maintain a relationship, why you, friendship? Why you explore then, think? Yeah, exactly. Or at yeah, least a relationship, not? but she's not maintaining that relationship, right? You guys are broken up, so she's free to kind of like pursue what she wants, right? Right. And so, like, I wouldn't be okay with like an open relationship. And so, we couldn't have an open relationship and then for her to figure out her sexuality in that open relationship. And so, it's like, well, if he can't handle that, then we have to break up and she needs to figure this out for the future. But right and now, you guys are essentially doing that, right? From your end, it's an open relationship. And from her end, you're just like an emotional tool for her. Oh, uh, perhaps, yeah. So you're in an open relationship. She just hasn't found somebody to hook up with yet. It's not, this is not good. That's what I'm trying to get through to you. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. And I want to, I want to like backtrack a little bit on my part. Like I, I didn't realize how seri serious it was for you. So I, when I was giving that, like, you know, the hopeless romantic side is like, you know, you feel good about this person, but I thought, you know, you could step back and, and let things play out and just see if she finds her way back to you. But if you're that deep into it, then yeah, you're setting yourself up for a, a bad outcome if it would really, you know, cause that feeling for you. Huh. Okay. Yeah, maybe maybe I, I'm just on, uh, or maybe I'm just coping with it, but. <laughs> there's no, by the way, Steve, there's no point in going further. You can go home. Uh, there Unless was a have, point. That motherfucker shot me. I need to show have cards. And also you need to heal up the full. You can't fucking run around at 30 or you're gonna get fucking dome ski. Um, right. Listen, I, I, want to echo this again i understand like it hurts but like uh it just seems highly unlikely that you're gonna make this work and it also seems like you're gonna like kill yourself like when that inevitably happens <laughs> well I, I don't mean actually no, it's, just, no, it's I, like it's fucking depressing you, you and it's it shitty point. it is it is it's super like, depressing it, it fucking super sucks shitty. and like you need to get out okay like look dude like i don't know any other way she's out there right now and i know this sucks to hear but she's out there looking for someone else because you weren't i don't want to say you weren't cutting it but she didn't feel you were a perfect match Jesus you understand Christ. like no i'm being she wanted something else than what you have okay like it yeah she sucks wanted to experience her sexuality and the no, fact that you want to well no <laughs> no <laughs> no tell, tell me how that's tell me how that's different because that, this is... that might be what she's telling you okay because a lot of people are bisexual okay but that is not an excuse to fucking leave your partner to go and fuck someone new yeah it's not it, like it's explore not... my sexuality would be like you want to try having threesomes or something maybe yeah right? that, that is not okay like dude you can't stay in this like this is not a okay thing to do to your partner i'm sorry it doesn't matter that it's bisexual or not you have to move on because if you stay there otherwise it's gonna fucking suck when she does bring you know someone home and say oh this person was better for me i'm not you know like you're just being used like a tool like it sucks and i know you love this person you want to do it and like sometimes it seems like you can go back but like as as steven said like there is no going back anymore like that's this is you got to make your stand play for yourself mm -hmm. uh do your own thing here unfortunately so. once you the second that you this is going to sound a little weird but the second you the first step is you have to make yourself emotionally available to see other people. That's like the most important thing you do. But the nice thing is that once you've done that and you start talking to other people, that pain will alleviate like pretty hardcore. Um, man, it's worthless saying any of this because you're not going to do any of this. <laughs> I yeah, understand no, no, the position. The, thing also. the problem on. is you're that like, because the problem is what I'm telling you to do is basically like stop talking to her or messaging her or making yourself as emotionally available to her. And I don't think you want to do that. Oh, no, of course not. I won't uh, do it. Of course, Hello. of course, I don't want to. Um, yeah, you're absolutely right. But I Jesus do. Jesus Christ! I, do, oh, no, I will take your advice it. seriously. I, I'm like, not on here because mm -hmm. I. I have no, I know, and I'm not trying to say that in a rude way. Like you're just here to waste my time or whatever. But I, like the idea of like no longer messaging like the object of your obsession, who is giving you it enough to keep you like ultra hooked, um, is that's it's oh, it's an it's an insurmountable challenge. That is very very hard for a person to do. Almost impossible. Um, but, but anyways, yeah. kind of good luck. We have to move on. No problem. Um, mm -hmm. Thanks for talking to me. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Well, that guy 100% is going to keep talking to that girl. Well, hold on. Wait, hold on. Dan, when you were in the military, did they give you the don't get married speech like in your first enlistment? Oh, God. All the guys that get married and then ship off immediately. I, yeah. I, I, no, I don't. No, She's I don't. cheating in two months. Well, like the the whole point is that like right in the in the beginning, they tell everyone, "Do not get married." We know you're gonna do it, but don't do it because we know the results. It was seventy five percent divorce rate in the military, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, yeah, there are gonna be people that do it, but one or two will listen. All right, we got to move on. Okay, printer, Shabbat Shalom, and welcome to the love zone. What can we do for you this evening? Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> um, I've got a relationship adjacent thing. Is that okay? Well, I don't know. Depends on what it is. 
with Jason? Who's Jason? Relationship no, no. adjacent. Oh, adjacent. Okay, sure. Um, it's basically I think we all know a guy who sort of like drops off the face of the earth whenever they get in a relationship. Oh god. Um what, <laughs> is there is there any cure for this or is this Merle? just sort of No, you can't. There's nothing you can do. You just have to let it run its course. You're at, you're you're wa this is the biggest waste of time in the world. The biggest waste of time yeah. in the world. You can't do anything about it. No, I, I, th I think you might be right. Mm -hmm. Every like guy group guy. and every girl group has like, whenever a girl starts dating a guy or a guy starts dating a girl, they're like, they're gone to that relationship and then they're gone with a friend group. <laughs> and there's like a meme and then when they break up, they'll come back and that just is, some people are like that. Yeah, there's a there's a friend of ours and uh, uh, there's like loads of our friends are doing it the complete wrong way. I can just tell the guy in the relationship is just getting more pissed off <laughs> because they're like, always like making jokes like, oh, you can't come here, you know, you're with your girlfriend all the time. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, no, I, th I think you might be right then. It might be like if it's sometimes people do it in the beginning of a relationship and then it'll cool off. But I mean, like some people are just like that. Like it's you, every friend group has that person that when they get into a relationship, they like disappear into it completely. It happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's good for them. I guess maybe if we were more fun to hang around with, maybe they, just, they wouldn't need to drop, or, drop away. Have you told them how they make you feel by doing that? Doesn't matter. Absolute waste yeah. of time. Because I mean, they're not doing anything wrong, I guess. Nope. I mean, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like. And the more you, it's like, you know, you try and grab onto it, um, the more they're just going to get pissed off and get dug on, mm -hmm. dug in their position. Um, okay, no, that was it. Um, I got a quick one, if that's okay. No, no, anything to do with relationships, though. Yeah, go for it. Um, do you think flamingos are pink or peach colored? Aren't they pink, pink colored? Pink colored. Okay, oh. cool. Sorry, that's just sailing a, a stupid um, uh, friendship argument thing. All right, mate. Have a good one. All right, peace. Bye. Oh, hi. Hi. Um. Let's see. Okay. This is. I'm. I'm. I'm kind of nervous to talk about this because I. I'm, I suck at talking and I misspeak more than you, Dan. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So basically, I used to be friends with somebody. Um. A long time ago, and. Uh. Well, let's just say we're not friends anymore. But I still think about this person a lot. And I've been trying to get- Wait, hold on, wait, wait, hold on. Friends with somebody, yeah. uh, romantic interest friends. Or not. Just, it's just friends, but I'm a, I'm, I was like 17 at the time, so you, you know how that goes. I ended up like, I still had feelings for the person, even though she wasn't interested. Okay, so romantic feelings for a friend. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so it, it basically doesn't go well. And when I, I think, I was able to like I've been trying to get over it. Uh, last semester, I've you know I've been talking to girls and everything, but every time I I do, I always feel like I'm trying to look for someone who's like similar to this person. And last semester, it like actually made me a bit depressed, and uh, it didn't really go well for my grades and stuff. So <laughs> this semester, I said you know okay, because I've watched. Like watching like the dumb relationship shit that you've gone through, I I've done a lot of reflection on uh, you know my own situation, and uh, you know I kind of just thought came to the point where it's like okay, I kind of have to accept that you know I'm that shit's fucked for me, mm -hmm. and yeah, I've I don't know how I I go about like doing that right now. Because, like, I told myself that this semester, like, you know what? All right, we're going to go on the Sigma grind set. We're going to, like, try to get my grades up. Because my I failed two fucking classes last semester. So, like, I'm in a really bad zone right now. <laughs> and, uh, um... All right, take it away, yeah. Dan. Um, Steve, I think you should probably... Dan, this, this is what you wanted. I answered no. the full last one. Go. No, I did. I, I was oh. there last one as well. I just... I'm always down for giving my opinion when it's not. Yeah, asked. yeah, you know, like, uh, you go, God damn it, go ahead. Buddy, like, yeah, I, I got you. I'd say that. Um, hey, hey, man. All right, so you, you still hung up on the one girl, or are you asking for like advice beyond, like, to move beyond that? Um, kinda. Like right now, it's for me. I guess. How do I explain this? Um, I still care about the person, but obviously, there's like no. Right, I, I'm kind of fortunate in the case that like there's no output, for, there's no way for me to contact this person, 
Wait, why so not? Like, Wait, yeah, did this person block you because of your contact or? Oh, yeah, because I, I think the way I like behaved was very, very bad. Like, okay. Even so, thinking wait, about it. Okay, now, hold like, on. I'll I'll go, go, wait, real quick. How old are you now? Are you not, did you say 19 or did you? I'm 20 now. You're 20. Okay. So like, I've been, Reflecting, yeah, I've been growing. caught up on this for like two years. It's, yeah. Okay, so. Pretty bad. All right, so you're 20 years old. Yeah, yeah, made a little bit of a cringe mistake. There's nothing wrong with that. You grow and learn from it, right? You, mm -hmm. you can, you, you sound introspective already. You seem pretty aware of like the way the situation is like, kind of like you're looking for a little affirmation that you need to move beyond it. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you're fine. You move beyond it. You go for something else. You realize the way you interacted wasn't probably the best and you go forward. The biggest thing is to not let that make you hate yourself, not let you look down on yourself and just know that you have to proceed a little more mm, tactfully in the future, right? And if you start to get signals that someone isn't interested, you just move on and that's it. End of story. And there's nothing wrong with you, nothing wrong with them. Life's good, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's it. I mean, at the end of the day, you just move forward from this. You had that interaction. You've learned something at 20 years old. You have 10 years to really develop a lot of yourself, right? So mm -hmm. get on the dating apps and just start talking to people. That's all you can do. You seem already aware, like there isn't really a lot of advice to give you because you're already aware of how the situation went poorly and that there's nothing to happen from that individual person. The biggest thing is to not get hung up on the fact that that person won't communicate with you again, because that's a trap you can get really lost into. Mm -hmm. So don't, don't worry about that person. There are millions. I know the fish, millions of fish in the sea kind of thing is a cliche, but at the end of the day, it's the reality. Um, one day you're going to find yourself in some place in life where that person doesn't even matter. You know what I mean? How stupid would you feel if you're a, this obsessed and then there was like the ultimate, like right around the corner. For you. you just got to, you got to move on, you know? Yeah, I mean, I take my chances. I, I go out of my way to talk to other girls and that stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. So, um, you know, someone was memeing at me in chat, but I want to ask this, like, <laughs> uh -oh. seriously. Um, do you feel you can't move forward? I feel like what happens is, like, I will, I will, like, think back to, like, when I fucked up. And I was, I'd, like, I'd be on hard copium and be like, you know, I could have, like, I could have done better or I could have not been like this. But every time I think about it, it's like, you know, I'm... There's no way I could have changed at that time, or I could have known, or I could have done better at that time. So it's like, you know, I'm just fucked, and then I just feel like shit, because, you know, I I really do want to still be friends with this person. You can't be friends with her anymore. There's, there's, it's not, it's not, it's, uh, yeah, it's out of the realm of possibility. So it's like, you know, it comes back every once in a while and bothers me, but then like, you gotta find you know, somebody just, new and move on. I, I just sleep it off and, you know, I'm like, okay, for like the next couple of days. All right, listen, man. Yeah. I think we've given you all we can give you. You got to man yeah. up and you got to fucking do what you need to get done. Don't be like the last caller who's totally going to go back and keep talking with the hope. I mean, because you can't. I, I imagine myself in that. Of course you're staying in there. <laughs> you, there's nothing you can do. You can have a million people say, dude, you got to break it off. But you know what? At the end of the day, you're going back. Listen, listen Dave, you go explore yourself. I'm here for when you get home. We're gonna oh, it's it. gluten. What are you doing, Steve? We're busy. Oh, I'm playing Rust. Why? What's up? Oh, you don't play League? It's pretty late for League. Played two games. All right. Goodbye. No dice. Bye. We're Bye, doing Dan's doing the first world. Fuck. I'm not playing two games. Okay. Also, we're in the middle of the Dan and Destiny oh, love is. experience dating show. What are you doing? Ugh. Dan is giving dating advice. Is Hello. moving the next caller? No. Um, I think we are ready for the next <laughs> caller. Dan. Hi, Dan. Hi, Beach. Hello. Hi. He said hi. I know. I can hear him. <laughs> is she gonna be one of those girlfriends that always inserting herself whenever the boys go out? Yeah, um, what's wrong with you? Gotta put you gotta put a butt on that on your woman right there. Be like, listen, you need to chill. All right, I'm talking with the boys right now. You can come back later. Okay. You don't see my wife coming in here and be like, hi, Lucas. How because she doesn't want to, Dan. But if she <clears> wanted yeah. to, she knows, you'd be her little she knows kitten her at her place. side. She no, you know your place. You're afraid of your wife. Uh, Daniel, your well, friends is retard. Wait, is Mr. Moon having internet issues? This is fucking weird. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, that sucks. He disconnected. All right. Uh, on to the next one here. All righty. Osnaba. Welcome to this show. What's wrong with you? 
Ah, you're stupid. You can't figure out how to fucking talk. I got it. Well, you gotta hit the books. That's step one. If you wanna be in a successful relationship, you have to figure it out. Okay, if you can't figure out how to talk in a Discord. Does this work? Oh my god. Okay, yes. Okay. Um, I am 21. I'm going to community college at the moment. I lost um, a year to COVID. Uh, I rolled late. But the problem I've been having is that I just find trouble, like, even making any friends. Like, no friends at the moment. Well, now you made me feel guilty. Um, do you have any hobbies? Um, I play games. Okay. You Hearts of Iron. These these games. Have you uh, considered like joining some discords of people who also play those games and hang out with them and kind of learn some interpersonal skills while you're in with them, and then you can take those to the real world? I mean, yeah. If you're having problems I've... making friends, why don't you go make some friends? <laughs> Good one. It's. <laughs> Fuck you, idiot. Okay, it's easier to make friends of fucking gamers in Discord than it is to make friends in the real world. Okay? I'm in a bunch of Discords, but, like, it's hard. Because, like, the Discord that I did meet up with and we used to play games together, we, it just, like, it just faded away. Are you religious? No. Who's that in the background? What's going on? My sister. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is wrong with you? I, I saw something funny in the what video is, game. I just saw, what I just is saw, wrong with you? I just saw something funny in the video game. <laughs> so, Feels weird, man. Why did you feel the need to tell us her age, dude? That was just weird. Oh my what? god. Did he? <laughs> what, Lycan? Are you okay? Lycan, are you having a story? I don't know, maybe. Alright, listen. Hang out, hang out with more discords. Try to talk to people, be like, yeah, guys, let's do it. You know, go on, you know, group games, you know, Warcraft and shit like that. I don't that. know. You know what? I'm kind of curious. I don't know how people make friends in big chat rooms or whatever. Like, I see sometimes people type messages into the void. There are times where I respond to people in chat just because I see them type a message. It happens late at night. I'll see someone type a message and I'll be like, no one's going to respond to this motherfucker. I know they're not. So I have to like respond and like type an LOL or whatever so that they were noticed. It seems like sometimes people are just shooting messages off into the void. I don't know how you, how do you get over that? It's difficult sometimes. Dan? Oh, I'm sorry, you were just making him cry for nothing and not gonna follow up that? I'm not I'm not crying. I'm fine. Oh. Okay. Um Like in person when in high school three years back, I didn't have trouble like I mean people would bully me and shit on me all the time, but like I dealt with that fine. I didn't let it affect me. Like my cousins were really popular, and they had my back when people were rude to me, so, like, that was nice, but, like, I didn't really drink, so I guess that really cut off the social circle for me, because everybody was into partying and drinking, and, like, I went to two parties, and, like, somebody th threw up on me, so that ruined that night, and the other time, somebody just poured a drink on my head because they were extremely trashed. Uh, when, when that shit happens, you gotta fucking throw fists. You can't let that shit go like that, okay? That's what? Like, that's, like that's, like in, that's like in prison. Someone pours fucking drink on your head, you fucking throw down. Doesn't matter. Win or lose at that point. I can't, Those are prison I can't get arrested. I can't punch a woman in the face. <laughs> you fucking do it anyway. Pour a fucking drink on me, we're going to pound town, bitch. You fucking better believe it. Damn, what I the fuck like... are you giving advice for? What is this show right now? So, uh, listen. What would you do? Yeah, I don't even want to know. You'd probably say, oh, I like, never mind. We're not, it's fine, it's fine. Hey. Listen. Uh, oh, Lycan. Okay, thank God. Go ahead. Fuck. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, listen. It's not hard to make friends. Sometimes you put yourself out there and you're vulnerable and you feel uncomfortable. In, in high school, you know, early freshman year, I had some rough times. It's just a matter of, you know, a little bit of introspection, a little bit of, uh, you know, making yourself vulnerable. You're not always going to make friends. Hey. I am 34 years old. I have a pretty damn good social life. I don't do really well in this Twitch space. I don't get along with a lot of people. I have a lot of clashes in personality with a lot of people here. I went to TwitchCon. I was probably the most vulnerable since I've been since high school because I didn't feel like I was fitting in with these fucking degenerates. Um, and it was a really weird, uncomfortable place to be. Uh, it was very, very uncomfortable. 
you're going to be in those positions. Don't let that get you down. At the end of the day, if you're not a fucking creep or a serial killer, people are going to be your friend. All you have to do is be friendly. So hop on some of these games, subscribe to Destiny, get on the rest server, and hang out with people. There's going to be someone who brings you onto your team and talk to them. That's it. So Wait, just do you play any team games? Let me see. I, I bought Rush to play it, but like, I I got small killed like six different times, so it's, it's been rough. Just start mining and find somebody to mine resources for. I don't know. You gotta fake it till you can make it. You gotta man up. Oh, okay? nice, good one, Dan. Fake it till you, you make got, it. The ultimate gotta, Dan advice. I don't know. This is this is you can't do not. You gotta fucking put on your inner Chad when you're doing this shit. Okay, I don't know what to say. There's no other way to say it. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Just try different shit. Okay. And if we go for like relationship stuff, like. I have no luck there either. Well, it's listen, bad. one problem at a time, like a, okay? Yeah, well, sounds like a couple hold on, let, let's, let's focus at. on this one first, and then, you know, once, let's, you know, let's baby steps, okay? I mean, in high school, people, when I, because I have almost like Asperger's, or ASD now, as they call it, mm -hmm. um, I had to see the social workers for whatever that was, for, since it's legally required, you had to see the social worker. And, like, the other people that also went there, like, I was friendly with them, and, like, the social worker also saw, like, people who just were having, like, who got suspensions a lot, too. So, like, I made friends with those people, but, like, they were, they're nice people, but, like, relationship-wise, I feel like I didn't feel like I wanted to get into, like, a real kind of physical relationship with any of them, because, like, some of the stuff that, like, they're very, I would say they're very open in there, in the talking to me, and like, I, you learn like everything about them when it's, it was a little bit too much. Okay. I was learning a little bit too much about these girls' lives. What do you think about that, that Dan? That was a four. Was a four? I don't know, I mean, this is more like your scene, Steve, like you've kind of been around this earlier, like I haven't What do you mean to... by that? Well, you were in school more recently than me, like no, with college Dan. and everything like that, so I mean, yeah, honestly, um, I don't know what to tell you, man. I would try to take it easy, okay? Just be chill, okay? All right, and, cool. Uh, yeah, baby steps. You're you're doing great coming on a big show like this, kind of getting over your your thing. So just keep coming, okay? All right. Good luck. Have a good one. See you, Dan. Bye bye. Okay, Dan has to solve the next person's problem. <laughs> Oh boy. Good luck. Just by Choose myself. wisely. Yeah, you need to do one, Dan. I need to see what you can do here, okay? You're just trying to put some on me. Um, oh boy. What do we got in here? Let's see, who are we gonna do? Okay, let's try, I'm just choosing random, here we go. Alrighty, Striker, welcome to the no oh, spin God. zone. Hi. Okay. Uh, so my question was about like green card process. So like what would you say is like the most important thing to keep in mind when you're going through that process with your partner? Wait, oh. before he answers oh, that, no, what no, website? Shut the fuck up, like, I'm an expert <laughs> at this. Hi, Lycan, uh, or Striker. Um, now, what step of the process are you at with the, uh, the green card? Haven't started it. Haven't started it. You married to this person yet? No. Gonna get the fiance route? Yes, what? that's yes, that's the plan. Now, you'd have to ask Steven, because he's a little bit more recent than me, but I think most likely, if he could do it all over again, he would just marry Molina up front and get it done. I think it's simpler that way. That's what I did. That's what I would recommend doing. I don't think that I would go and do the whole fiance visa. I think you just get married and kind of force their hand. I think it's faster, more straightforward, a lot less bullshit doing it along those lines. So that's what I would do. Also get hooked up with a good uh, immigration attorney. Don't try to fucking navigate this shit by yourself. It changes too fast and you are not gonna be capable of doing it. Don't even try to understand what's going on here. It's not your job. Find a good attorney, 
that has good ratings, okay, and then get them on it. But that that would be the the advice I kind of have with that right there. Okay, I actually really appreciate that. Yep. Uh, last thing is I'm going to see my asthma this weekend. Oh yeah. Okay. Solved it. Nailed it. By the way. You're lucky. Good job. No, I don't go jumping. I'm just so, I'm just so good. All right, on to the next one. All right, Brandon Jr. Hello? Yep. How's it going? Fine. All right. Pretty simple one. I, uh, been going to the bar recently. Mm hmm And I grew my hair out because of COVID. Okay. And I pretty frequently get mistaken for a woman. Uh-huh. You think I should cut that? Do you want to be mistaken for a woman? Not. Then I would well, also, you. hold on. Okay. We don't know if it's the hair. We would need to see a picture. Oh, Is this true. you in your profile? Yeah. Well, what's the verdict, Dan? Uh. <laughs> oh, no. I think it's the hair. Oh. You think it's the hair? I would cut the hair. Okay. Well, all right. Oh, yeah? Thank you very much. Are you sure, Dan? Yeah. Hold on. Let me check. <sighs> Where are we at? Destiny GG. Brandon, is that you? Yeah. I can't. It's a small picture. I can't tell, but that might be the case. I just can't tell. Do you want me to send one? It's a fucking small picture. I can't tell. Yeah, can you send a send a? It's the hair. It's the hair. Larger yeah. picture. Sure. There's no way you can tell from just this picture, Dan. Fuck you. <laughs> Did you zoom I, in? If, if, you, if it didn't happen before, then I would say just cut the hair. That I think like that's the easiest way to to tell, right? I guess so. What? Yeah. I've been growing it for like two years. I can't just cut it. Yeah, and don't can. cut the hair. I mean, it's pretty easy then. Then don't do it. Well, then you're gonna just gonna be mistaken for a woman. Wait, why do you think an MP5 is better than a? Thompson, faster DPS or more DPS? Sorry. Doesn't just get, doesn't just scoring headshots matter? What? No, DPS matters, of course. Wait. Also, how old are you? Just curious. I'm 21. Gotcha. Okay. I guess it's only happened like two or three times, but that's still two or three times more than I'd like it to happen. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then shave your fucking head, bro. Then cut your hair. Okay, I don't or know what else. Just go bald. Well, you don't have to go fucking bald, but don't have hair down to your fucking asshole. Okay. Okay. Like you know, fuck it. Why do you have long hair anyways? Just like trying to save money on haircuts or what? Well, first of all, I just growing want your to hair out is not a way to save money because you're gonna spend way more on fucking shampoo and shit. Okay, then what? Why? What are you doing? You just a lazy fuck? I tried to grow, or I wanted to try growing it out. Okay, you've then... done it. Do you like the results? Well, I get complimented for my hair a lot. So... You also get mistaken for a woman. Is that something you like? Not really. Okay, then fucking change it up, bro. Alright. Sounds good. Alright, I believe in you. Thank you. Bye. Alright, on to the next one. Uh, which is going to be... Man, I have no idea which one of these guys were here first. This one has... I love Dan, so that's good enough. Alrighty! Dark Bob 10. Hey, what's Welcome. up? Can you hear me? Yes. Awesome. Okay. Uh, clear. Uh, I guess I'll preface my question. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm pretty young. I'm 18. Mm -hmm. um, and starting college, I kind of started like fucking around a little bit. So like trying to get into the more of the like sexual dating scene. Mm -hmm. um, and Wait, how old did you say you were? Did you say 21? I'm, no, I'm 18. I'm 18. Okay. Um, so I'm, I, I've always thought I was a very like sexual person or at least like very physical but I started doing it and then felt like I wasn't enjoying it very much. So I don't know if that's something that like most, like. Wait, how many times, are you a virgin or how? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm saying I, I have been fucking around. So I've been how, in like Tinder and shit. Like how many um, sexual experiences have you had? Three or four. Okay, the early on is gonna be really hard because you don't have very many and the people that you're interacting with don't have very many. 
and the first few times is going to be incredibly awkward and difficult and challenging and you'll like find your swing of things easier have you had repeated sexual experiences or just one-off sexual experiences um so far just one off okay i would consider myself to be like very sexually experienced and my mm -hmm. one-offs are usually not that good because even i don't know how to like it, you have to like there's like a learning curve so not only is there a learning curve if you're only having a one-night stand you're not going to hit it you're also inexperienced yourself and you're 18 the girls that you're fucking are probably also very inexperienced there's like no reason to expect that there's going to be like ultra good sexual experiences coming out of that like, okay. yeah, that's all. Yeah, it's like okay. an experience, so you just gotta keep doing it. It's probably okay. gonna feel like Yeah, but I mean, like, that's all you can do. Okay, yeah, for sure. And maybe it's like my nervous mm -hmm. nervousness. As also, well, I will say, it, so. like, if you wanna have better sexual experiences, as weird as it sounds, finding one partner to, like, experiment with and do things with is going to be the most important thing. Like, I would rank the sex I was having with my, like, first serious girlfriend in high school rivals that of any of the best sex I've had in my entire life. It's easy as that. We were um, 19, I guess. But it was just because okay. we, like, spent so much time with each other, so, yeah. Okay, for sure. All right. Oh, no. Oh, oh, wait, quick thing. Word of advice for all these loser fucks, okay, coming in here. Just stop being so socially inept, okay? Talk to fucking oh women. Oh, my God. Okay? Wow. Fuck Super easy. Losers. Thank you. Okay? Good job. Wow. I love you, Lycan. And Dan. Love you too, buddy. Fuck you, Destiny. Oh. All right, on to the Jesus. next one. Okay, we have a Peter uh, Phillips. Peter Phillips, welcome to the No Sadness Zone, the Love Zone, with your hosts, with the most, us. What can wow. we do for you this evening? Um, so back in like 2016, I made a bunch of like really edgy posts on like Reddit and Facebook and Twitter. Redacted. Um, and I was just wondering oh, if you guys nice. knew, uh, easy way I could like delete all of them. Yeah, actually there's like some great software up there called <laughs> redact.dev. You should check it out. And I think it'll really help a lot for your, uh, you That's know, crazy. for you being able to like, you know, have a better relationship with us. Yeah. Can That's I just fun. delete all of them? Uh, like for free, website? actually for free. Actually, That's crazy. Well. No, no, no cost, no charge. That sounds great. Thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> You're welcome, dude. This has been so helpful. I, I aim to please. Have a great. Well, I thought they were, wasn't right, that site going to start selling all of your personal information to like Web three? Can you fucking on? stop? No, stop. Wait, it. I thought that was happening. No, you're out of stop. XTC isn't here. Hello. Okay. What do you uh, want? I'm looking for a problem. I'm looking for advice, please. Uh, go ahead, X. I'm I'm happy to help. Okay, um, the problem that I have is that um, I'm too uh, handsome, sexy, and successful, and rich. And whenever I go to a place like a club or something, um, all the women are so after me that I end up drowning in pussy. It's become like a safety hazard. Any advice? Um, if you need like uh, to get better perspective on your life, I would say try making a Tinder account and don't tell anybody your XQC, and you can see how much of a fucking virgin loser fuck you would be. Okay, sans your fucking streaming career. You sad as fuck, Winston, Maine. GTA RP loser motherfucker. Okay, thanks for the advice. I'll try that, man. Good luck. Man. Right, good you. luck. Bye. See you. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Wait, to do you know him and Adept are actually like seven feet tall? Have you ever seen them in real life? Um, no. Oh, oh. they're both very. They're like freakishly. Tall. We're 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 pretty good though. I call him X. Me and oh, him yeah. were. Oh, that's we're how you like, know you're close. Yeah. 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 Exactly. I don't call him XQC. I call I mean, him XQ Cow because I don't even. I'm not even I mean, referring to him XQC bases. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, you yeah. know, just. I mean, I kind of knew him before he was as big as well. Like, you know. Yeah. I don't really watch his stuff anymore. I kind of prefer the old X. The new one is Bro. just like, oh, uh, he's not. Yeah. Anyways. <clears throat> All right. Where were we? On to the next one. Um. All right. Let's do Mickey, shall we? Hello, Hello. Mickey. Hi. Hey, I'm not done with my speech. Wait. Oh, Welcome fine. to the love zone. What can we do to make your sexual experiences better? Why that? Um, it's not just about that. Sorry. Go ahead. It's okay. Dance um, again. you know, I have a little problem when it comes to dating. Um, I was in a relationship for a long time, and I'm out of that one now. Um, but I find it hard to date people because I'm five foot four and most women just laugh at me. Um, what should I do with myself? How old are you? I'm 21. Okay. At five four, you are legitimately in the challenging zone. Okay. Yep. Now, I... there's a lot of people. Now, I'm going to be honest. The reason why I don't like it when people call me short, it's not because I'm bothered by my height, because I'm not. It's actually because it's a form of stolen valor. Okay. 
every time people see me go to events and shit, there are five, 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 four guys that look at me and they're like, I can't believe people call him short. He doesn't deserve it. He doesn't suffer like we do, okay? At five, four, you are legitimately in some troubled territory, okay? Now, are you jacked? No, I'm a 105 pound fucking twig, okay. motherfucker. Are you rich? <laughs> I'm in a rich family. Okay. As long as oh, you, oh, that, hey, hey, All right, can now you can drive supercars. You fit in them really well, okay? Well, wait, also, hold on. Are, you can fly economy no, on airplanes. No, not that rich. No, yeah, that's like, what I was ask. not that fine. rich. Okay. What, what are we talking? How much? How many millions are we going for here? Not, listen, we're above the, we're in the upper middle class. When you were a class. child, did you ever get lost in your parents' house? We were, I was not rich when I was a child. We came into money a little bit later on. Okay, okay. Are, we, are we talking millions? Can you get like, no, not easy? millions. I didn't mean that much. You fuck. I forgot that you're you guys like, are actually wealthy people. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're like right? upper middle class. I'm so sorry. Okay. Oh, okay. This guy. Yeah, upper like, middle class. That's what I meant. Like, I got like 60k. They're rich. Yeah, and like, no, not, they got, not like, six... like mom has her own car. That's what he's talking about. Okay. All right. Listen. Okay. I understand. All right. Okay. Let's go. I don't pay for my own tuition. Okay. Whoa. All right. Anyways, go ahead. Take it, Chad. You gotta. You're gonna have to be. Listen. You're fucked, dude. Okay. You're be the Here's how I got ever. through high school. Now, not as a super short person, okay, but I wasn't the wealthiest person. I wasn't the best looking person, okay. You can be the funniest person, okay. You got to work on your Giga Chad comedy mm -hmm. routine, okay. You got to be charismatic. Yeah. yeah I, but I just you, gotta. Yeah, you're fucked if you don't have that by now, though. So. Well, I do acting, so hopefully I get it through that. But I'm mostly it's like socially inept, so. Well, you gotta dude. work on that. Wait, hold on, hold on. Google. So you're into acting. Google yeah. a bunch of your favorite actors. Tom Cruise, five fucking seven. There's a, like uh, that fucking Jeremy Renner. I think he's like five six. Like Google a bunch of actors. They're short, right? There's nothing wrong. There's no no reason you can't be charismatic and charming and attractive. So yeah, you might be short, but at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world. It's you know you are who you make yourself. Get yeah, out there. Well, and but to be fair, there. it's this is an upward battle. You're starting absolutely on the back absolutely foot. yeah. But you can do it. Listen, okay. What, are you racist? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not a good answer, dude. Wait. Yes, Mel Gibson is also short. Thank you. Good one, Destiny. You... <laughs> well, no. If you're not racist, go hang out with a bunch of Latina chicks, all right? Mexican guys are short as fuck, all right? Five, six, five, five. You might blend right in, all right? Get a, get a spray tan or whatever. Those girls are used to short dudes, okay? You have, you have, maybe you have better luck in those communities. But yeah, if you learn, hate Mexicans, then you're pretty fucked. So, good yeah, luck. Yeah, I live in the middle of butt fuck nowhere, like a 100K population city. <laughs> Closest city to me is like eight hours away. And okay, sure. For also, yeah. 100K is okay size. Damn, chill, all right? I'm from Nebraska, all right? Our small cities are like 10,000 pop or less, okay? Yeah, yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, the closest city to me that's over 10,000 people is eight hours away. Like, okay. there's... Well, I'm just saying, you are the closest big city to a lot of people, okay? 100,000. Uh, Wait, how old? Where are you from? I'm northern Ontario. I'm like the middle of buttfuck nowhere. Northern uh, Canadian. Ontario. Jesus Christ. Mm, there's your problem. Oh, you're from Canadian, eh? Shut the fuck up, Lycan. Oh. Do you have any hot siblings? Or? My sister, but she's 10 years older than me, and also my sister. Oh, you said it's such a <laughs> okay, you said she's hot. Listen, get her to well, go she's out. Tight. Listen, when you take in, uh, take Tinder photos with her and make her post your girlfriend, when girls see you with a hot girl, they think that you must have something going on. Right. I'm not even joking. That's true. So pose with her in some photos, throw that bitch up on Tinder. Um, the bitch well, being the photograph, not your sister. She's a lovely young woman. Um, the hard part of that is that the most most of the women that know me in the city know me as the guy who dated the crazy girl in psychology for five years who was like absolutely insane. So, Well, Destiny's been I, there, yeah. so he relates. <laughs> well, good luck. It's, a, it's, a, it's an uphill struggle, but we'll get there. Thank you very much for your advice, and I hope you both have a wonderful day. And like and keep being you. I do my best. Uh, Yi wins. Ah, uh, fuck yes. him. Dumb cunt. <laughs> what the fuck? Yi did win. <laughs> All right, on to the next one, which shall be... Um... Let's see. What am, I, what am I feeling? How about... We do... This person. Uh, oh, Kodiak, we saw you. I had to kill you this morning because you were in my base, dude. Oh, hello. Skyler. Yes. Loved you in Breaking Bad. What can I do for you? Oh, thank you so much. It was one of my breakout starring roles. Really made, made my fucking career. Um, okay. The, this is you. If I say the term love bombing, you guys know what that means, right? <laughs> Intimately. Work. Okay. Um, how the fuck do I stop? Like, did, for to, to preference, I'm like pansexual, so I date guys and girls. How? How do? What am I doing wrong that I keep getting like 
love bombed. Like this has happened like twice in a row where like I'll meet somebody and I think they're really fucking cool and we'll have really great sex and um and and they'll be like I really really like you. I like you a lot. Like you're really fucking cool. Let's see each other all the time. We talk constantly and then out of nowhere they'll just be for like actually I don't want to see you anymore or they'll literally just ghost me. They'll ghost on me and like and like I like the last time this, this happened twice in a row. Well, that's not that many times. What? I, and this was after one time of having sex? Um, the, the first time we, 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 we fucked quite a few times. Um, and then the, the, the Hey, give me all second... the nine times. How, how long was the first relationship? How long was the second relationship? So, like, so again, so here's the issue, right? Is that I wouldn't even consider these long enough to be called, like, relationships. Like, it's just getting to the relationship stage. And then, like, with them being the ones who are emphatically being like, I really like you, you're really fucking cool. They'll like, just peace out. Why do you think they feel that way about you? What do they say? What do they do? What are the actions? I mean, they're extremely affectionate. They compliment me all the time. They, they, they say like, like, I'm glad that we have X, Y, and Z in common. Like, all these things like that. Like, you're really interesting. Like, I love that you know about this. I know, I love that you can talk about these things, whatever the fuck, like, literally like, it's not like shallow shit, right? Like, they'll like say the reasons. Okay, Dan, take it away. Um, do you think that you're doing something that's pushing people away after a few days? If so no, it, it's 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 not even like like a few days. We're we're talking like 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 a like a couple months. Oh, and then, okay, like, Jesus! This is why I was asking for timelines. Oh, sorry. Like, no, yeah. these are relationships. You're are okay. you are you like fucking other people? Or are you guys relatively exclusive with each other for a couple months? relatively exclusive okay you're exclusively talking to somebody who's giving you a lot of physical attention and you're fucking each and other. emotional ten and emotional tension yeah okay how, how are you guys so you're so these were relationships some type I, yeah okay yeah. but then at yeah. some point they get turned off and what well no that's the thing i don't even know if they get get turned off i'll, I'll give you i'm sorry when like, i say get turned off i don't mean sexually i just mean like in the relationship they're like done with the thing and they want to move on or something yeah, I guess. And 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 the problem is, is like I'm a very like I I I'm a very emotional. I'm a very clingy person. I'm very like affectionate. Oh, and wait. and and no, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I I know I know where you're going. I know where you're going. Okay, hold on. I'm I am aware enough and cognizant enough to like temper myself and match the energy of the other person, right? So like Are I'm you? not like yes, yes. I, I'm know? not like go. Be, because the other person will reciprocate in, in 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 kind and they're usually the one i let the other person set like the expectation so i i don't go overboard and i will match what they do right okay like, it might even, be that um then how old are you again i'm i, I just turned 28. how old are these girls uh they they, they, they but both both the people who, both the people who did this to me were guys well that's um, the explanation right there is it what is what how is that an explanation like what are you saying uh, it's much more easy for men to become detached after sexual encounters that no that hold on blind. he's not talking about like it was a one night stand these are months long yeah how, so what, I'm sorry. What, what what what's what's incredibly confusing to me as well is like wait how old are the guys it, it, uh the 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 first guy is less of a mystery to me because the first guy was 19 and and like i kind of saw the writing on the wall as it was starting because he's young and dumb and like uh -huh. you know prone to like quick flights the second guy was 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 23. uh-huh yeah and 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 it, it is the second guy especially fucked me up because like we were like very compatible in in many 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 ways and, and it's particularly ways that i'm not usually compatible with other people like i find it hard to find combat compatibility with, with people and the so for example something that, that would happen is that um like we would talk constantly all the time, like every day we messaging each other and it wasn't me doing it. Like I would wake up in the morning to good morning messages from him being like, I hope you have a really good day. Like, you know, like I can't wait to see you again, X, Y, and Z. And I love that shit. Like I love that kind of really clingy shit. So I would like reciprocate, right? And, and then like, we'd be talking constantly. And like, so I'm trying to break it down for you. Like the expectation is being set. Like we are talking every day, right? And we'd have like discord dates and shit when like, you know, he was too busy to come see me or whatever the fuck. Yeah. And then, and then randomly, he wouldn't talk to me for like a week, and I'd be like, I don't, "Okay." The problem were these only long distance or were these real life? These are real life because you were fucking, right? 
Yeah, he was real life. I don't know anything about gay relationships, so I don't know if there are like other dynamics at play or something. It sounds pretty weird to me. If you're not like declaredly exclusive, maybe they were playing the field and there was somebody else they got a little bit more attached to. But if you're doing like Discord dates and shit, it no. Seems like so, so this is what was confusing as well, right? Is that especially with, with the, the last person I was dating, when I started getting an inkling that that they were like, when they started like messaging me less. And like, and then they would always come back with some excuse, like, "Oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't message you. It's actually like, it's because I'm busy with this and this and with all these th these things." And after a while, I was like, "Okay, I'm just gonna like lay it out." I was like, "Hey, just so you know, like, if you've like lost interest in me, like, please just like tell me upfront. I'm not gonna be mad at you. I'd rather have you be upfront with me than like leave me on." And he would continually insist that like that's not the case, and he wants to keep seeing me. Oh and then, shit! Okay, I, I don't I don't know your conversations, and I don't know if you'll sure. be honest with me, obviously, or to yourself is hard to say, but like. I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you, with you as far as I'm sure, no, honest yeah. with myself. Yeah. Once you started asking a question like that, it's, mm. I don't, okay, I'm assuming guys probably work similarly because I know it would happen the same with guy-girl relationships and girl-guy relationships. Sure. But as soon as you start dropping questions like, are you still interested in me? Or like, if you're not, like, it's okay, blah, blah, blah. Like, that comes off as being like... No, 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 no. So I wasn't saying, like, if you're not, that's okay. Uh -huh. I was saying, like... Hey, I really, really like you. I feel like we have some, something special here, mm -hmm. right? Like, like I, I completely understand. Do you know, this do you, is. Do you, um, do you know if either of these two people started dating somebody different within a month after, or? Um, the second, so that this thing, the most recent guy, I have no idea because the way that he like it ended was like very like dramatic. He blocked me on everything, and 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 I like I wasn't like harassing him or anything like that that that's just like i know he very Can immaturely just like kinda... the last days of messages that you had with this person uh or read no, them no so no i can't because with the messaging platform he was using not only did he block me he deleted our chat what was so the messaging I can't... platform snapchat uh t -t 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 have you ever used telegram do you know what that is no that's some european shit <laughs> wait yeah are you american i'm canadian Oh, you guys use Telegram in Canada? No, no, we don't. Okay, I, I'm, I'm also, I'm, I, I, it's, I use Telegram because I'm, I'm, I'm a, a, a furry, and furries use Telegram. Fuck, there's so many different dynamics at play here that I don't know much about. No, um, no, okay, this guy, this guy wasn't a furry. <laughs> well, but he had Telegram. That's already like a pretty strange. Answer, no, right? no, no, he had Telegram because I asked him to get it so we could use Telegram. Interesting. Because I, because, because I prefer talking on, because it's a, it's a far superior messaging platform. Oh, far superior. My bad. <laughs> um, the was was the guy a furry also? No, he said no. No, no, no. So, like, so, so the he, thing that I would assume is they no. they started to do something different, but like, cause block you on all platforms. This is like some pretty heavy shit. Right. Yeah. No. And 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 again, what was weird about it is, yeah, it was extremely heavy and very out of nowhere. Well, but it's, was, uh, it wasn't out of nowhere because it sounds like you were getting hints to ask questions saying like, hey, are you not interested in me or I feel like there's something special. So it wasn't out of nowhere. There were some hints being dropped, right? Okay. <laughs> Dude, should, should I, do I need to break down everything that was happening? I, I didn't want to go too far into it because I didn't want to waste your time explaining everything that was happening. But like, I can if you want, if you want more context. Um, <laughs> if you think that it'll alleviate my concerns here about something happening, go for it. Okay. So the situation with him was um, he, and again, I'm at this point because of, of what happened, I don't know how much of this was uh, w like, I, I don't know if he was lying to me or not, but based on the messaging and things like that, it, I think it would take a pretty extreme kind of person to be able to craft a lie like this. Like, I, I, I know, I know you've talked about this before in stream, like it's, it is, Highly unusual. Like, what's the second guy? That... Did you meet him in real life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we fucked and everything. Yeah. Did you, okay. How often did you hang out with Beyond Fucking? Did you go on dates and shit? So, that again, the, the, this this was the the, the 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 thing is that we kept planning dates and then something in his life would would would, would come up. Oh, hence, okay. Hence me mm -hmm. saying to him at some one point, being like, "Hey, FYI." Like it's not that I disbelieve you. This is happening. Wait, wait. Because like, question: Did you ever fuck at normal times, like at a, like yes. from seven to yes. nine at night, or were you fucking yes. like in the afternoon and late no. at night? Uh, well, no. So, so like, what when 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 we would he would like come over in the afternoon and spend we'd fucking spend all day together, and then like what does all day mean? Like until five or six, or until like midnight? Uh, uh I don't know. Where I, I guess we're, we're talking like twelve, like noon until like I don't know. Let's say like seven, eight p.m. Okay. Um, okay. I, I guess I guess the reason I'm asking because like, like, 
I'm capable of like moving on from like anything, but but it, it really mind fucks you when you just get no closure on something. And and especially because this is the second person in a row to kind of be do this very like, I like you a lot, oh my god, you're amazing, I can't believe I found you, oh my god, you're, uh -huh. you're, you're like the best, blah, blah, blah. And then like, it just ends I mean, abruptly. Yeah, first like, person is 19, who the fuck yeah, knows? Which is oh, understandable. Um, yeah. Yeah. Second person kind of sounds like, is it possible that they were already in a relationship? I suppose it, that 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 is a possibility, but but like, uh, but again, like the the quote unquote. You were never at his place, right? No, no. Do you even know where he lived, or did he never even tell you? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. He gave me he gave me his address. Yeah. Why did he give you the address if you never went over? Because originally, this is one point where we were planning. He was like, "Oh, you should, you, you like you should come over to my place that 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 this time," and then those plans fell through. Gotcha. And then... Which is again, which was another reason why I'm like, I, I again, based on all the messaging and the, and the communication I got, mm -hmm. of course, in, in my head, I'm like, he could, he could, somebody could always be lying. But the information I was presented with, it would have taken a like, masterfully rare like manipulator person to be able to construct a lie this convincing, uh, like over this. Well, what of was time. the convincing lie to be canceling plans over and over and over again? Do they say like so an he, autoimmune so disease he, or? Yeah, no, no. So he he lives and takes care of his his grandfather who who has like a congestive heart failure, and 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 what and uh, basically, like uh, a couple weeks uh, or a few weeks after we started talking and like getting together. He had a, a major medical emergency and had to be rushed to the hospital and he had like like a, a blood clot in his leg and then at post the hospital required a, a lot of like time where he had to he couldn't leave the house and like had to be 24 7 taking care of him um did you and, ever were you ever friends with this guy on any social media uh i it, wait what do you mean like on did you ever see facebook posts instagram posts twitter are you no. friends on any so did you do you even know if he had no. any or no i don't know I, I don't know if he had any we didn't, we didn't talk about on that I, so again, like, the reason that I think it's like the lie would be very hard to keep up is is because like, for example, one night I got a picture of like, like again, I didn't ask for this. He'd just be like, oh, I guess this is my night again. And he sent me a picture of the ambulance at, like outside his house. And like, like the ambulance was like a, was an ambulance with from our city. Like I could see the city's insignia on it. Mm -hmm. And like, um, and, 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 and sort of the, 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 like what happened and like the like medical things that happened around his grandfather were mm -hmm. very like typical of what he said his grandfather had mm -hmm. when it gets bad. Like again, like it it would take a he would have to be like it doesn't so have to be the case that he was lying. By the way. a lie, depending on the no, type of person he is. Like it, he I could know. just be um, mm. I mean he it, like it could be the truth, but then like that's mixed in with elements of a lie. Like his grandpa yeah. might have had problems, but did he really need to take care of his grandpa twenty four seven? Was he the sole caretaker? Was he getting paid by the well, state? So, like... Yeah, no, so so he 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 basically this version he he was the sole caretaker and his family like don't live um they, they live it within the same province but 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 kind of far away and they don't help him out at all taking care of the he's kind of left okay. to fend, fend for his fucking self well i mean yeah I, I don't know if I'm, we're not going to be able to figure out like what no, to the extent of the truth or falsehood of yeah. what was going on i guess or something yeah i i i guess like the issue i have is like i'm i i guess what what always worries me is is i have a, i have high enough self esteem to know um, to like love myself and love the way I look and like have confidence in myself and know what I bring to a relationship and all these things like that Like I'm not like oh my god, like I'm ugly and whatever like there's not these things I think but what I worry about is the way my brain is I'm not one of those people who can just go out and like date like people and just like keep going around dates with people and then like eventually develop feelings. So something I'm very instinctual. I will know very quickly whether or not I'm interested in dating somebody like I, I feel you know you Yeah, feel most like people are like kind of most thing. people are like that but um, but but how frequently my my brain chooses a person like you like this person is very rare for me uh -huh. so it, it feels very devastating when somebody that i'm like oh i legitimately like this person uh -huh. it like doesn't work out yeah um, i don't know especially gotta... because i'm a very like all the things about me are very odd like i'm i i'm a like non-binary person i'm like queer i i have a lot of i'm part of a lot of weird social like and like Groups. Mm -hmm. I, I have a lot of weird hobbies that like some people have is issues with like, again I'm a furry. I'm also a drag queen as well And and like these things can be fucking bombshells to like new sure, relationships. It's, a lot to deal with, yeah. it's a lot for people to deal with um, so like it, It's when I find someone I'm like, oh my god. Yes, somebody who gets me and likes me and all these all things like X, XYZ um, But then it falls through falls through and I'm like, all right Well, I guess we gotta wait like another like half a year or a year until we find somebody that I like, you know, like whatever the fuck
right? Yeah, I mean, it is what it is, but... Yeah, don't dwell on past relationships too much, I guess, yeah? Good luck. Yeah. Dan, what do you think? Uh, I think, like, you're being a little bit extra, <laughs> to be honest with you, man. Like, uh... In, in, in what way? Um, just, like, uh, this is, like, uh, I don't know. I'm just getting a vibe, like, uh... I, I mean, you're not wrong. I am an extra person. Like, like I am a lot. That's not. That's you're not. You're not. You're not off in in that like sense. Um, I think you would be a lot to be around. I think you got to tone it down a little bit. Okay, you are. This is just. This is so much. This is like. This reminded me <laughs> listening to you. This reminded me of the conversation of Destiny talking to that girl yesterday. Um, Whoa! Well, hey, is, don't shit on Brittany. She was chill. She was cool. Wait, but well, yeah. I, I maybe maybe I missed this card. Who? <laughs> just another very. Um, eccentric what? person. Yeah, eccentric. Oh, 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 I know. I remember the person. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, okay. Yeah. You gotta yeah, take okay. it back oh, a step. Okay. Just chill well, but out. it depends too, though. I mean, like if you hang out in a lot of these queer communities, like they're, I think they're generally used to, like yeah. a lot of you are very extra. <laughs> so I mean, is that no, like, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Destiny? Destiny's very right. No, yeah, yeah. So like, if you're especially if you're doing like um drag queen shit, like you're probably yeah. active in a lot of those communities too. I imagine. I am. So, like, I'm. I'm. Can... I'm. I'm a, I'm a very active part of. It. I mm -hmm. like. I'm like. Give you a perspective. I'm like. I'm at the point in the community where I can kind of walk into any gay bar in my city and people are like, oh, hey, like, like I, yeah, I, people sure. recognize me and know who I am. Like, yeah. All right, well, <laughs> just try to be respectful of other people's um, time and thoughts and everything. Remember, just when in doubt, ask questions. That's the, the biggest hot tip. It's not about you. It's about them. People love answering questions. OK, yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. There we Thanks, go. Dan. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Dan. Welcome. All right. Th Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Wait, Lucky, do you have anything to add? Um, sorry, I, I'm bouncing between Russ and this. Um, I yeah. think that, uh, I don't know if I can add anything more significant. Like, I, I kind of actually want to lean back on the guy thing, like, it, but it's only been two, right? So if this has been yeah. like, you know, five, six, seven instances, I, I'd say, okay, we have something to dig in with you. Mm -hmm. This shit's going to happen. Both of those circumstances just kind of seem like, you know, normal dating world shit, right? So yeah. when you really have to worry about it is when it becomes like a repetitive thing. And then it's like, oh, okay, I'm starting to smell shit. Let me check my shoe. So right, I think right. you're fine. Just, you know, try to not take it too personally. This happens. Fair enough. All oh, right, thanks, uh, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm sorry. I can ask uh, something a little more substantive. Yeah, a lot of people are going to love bomb, right? Like, and yeah. it's not necessarily like a manipulation tactic or anything. Sometimes no, no, it's just, sorry. I, 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 only, I only use that term because people would know what it meant. But I, I don't mean. Oh yeah, in, yeah. In an abuse way. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, but like way. you know, it makes you. It, at the end of the day, even if you know, if someone's like giving you that openness and that feeling, and then they pull away, yeah, that's going to cause a reaction. If you're some, you know, someone who's been connecting with them, right? It's it's yeah. not going to make sense because you think fuck you've been telling me all these things and now you suddenly disappear. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Sure. Just cool. to understand that at the end of the day, there are a lot of people who are just going to connect that way, and then they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna you know yank the the rug out from under you. Sounds good. It doesn't feel yeah. good. All right. I appreciate it, guys. Be careful. Thanks. You know, I want to say I want I want to walk back a comment I made earlier, Dan. Uh -oh. You you and Stephen give good advice. I mean, I uh, I was a little worried it was going to be all memes and you fucking with these people. But I think I think it was pretty good. Thanks. I tried. Yeah, that. especially like the, the woman pours fucking drink on you. You punch that bitch. Absolutely. Jesus Christ, <laughs> Dan. <laughs>